Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 17. Today's tutorial is on bacteria, their uses and diseases they cause. I'm Ritrisha from GK Today and I'll be taking you through this. What are some industrial uses of bacteria? In the dairy industry, lactobacillus bacteria are used in fermentation of lactose sugar to form lactic acid such as in curd. Lactobacillus in combination with yeast and molds have been used for a very long time in preparation of fermented foods such as cheese, pickles, soy sauce, sauerkraut, vinegar, wine and yogurt. In the food industry, the Bacillus megatherium bacterium is used in flavoring of tea and tobacco. Acetobacter acidity is used in preparation of vinegar from alcohol. Bacterium is the singular form of bacteria. Do keep in mind, bacteria is the plural form. Clostridium acetobutylism is able to produce acetone from acetic acid as well as butanol from butyric acid. In biogas plants, the bacterium called methanobacterium is used for production of methane. Bacteria are useful in fiber ratting, in which the fibers of jute, hemp, and flax are prepared. Clostridium butyrisum is used in the process of uh, hydrolyzing the, the middle lamella of these plant fibers. Microbial mining, which is the process in which bacteria and other microorganisms are cultured in containers and then used to bring about processes such as copper extraction, iron extraction, all of which involves bacteria called ferrooxidants. How do bacteria help in soil formation and maintaining soil fertility? As soon as fresh rock is exposed to biological environment, certain organisms like bacteria take possession of it. There is an instance of increased production of organic matter and that results in formation of soil content. There are many bacteria which decompose the rotten substances like dung, dead residues of animals, etc. Some bacteria enhance the fertility of soil by means of denitrification like rhizobium bacteria which are found in the roots of uh, plants <clears throat> which nitrify atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. Such nitrates act like fertilizers and along with the growth of the plant's fertility of the soil is also enhanced. What are some everyday uses of bacteria? Bacteria work as natural scavengers as they are able to decay huge amount of plant, animals and human waste. Using biotechnology techniques, bacteria can also be bioengineered for the production of therapeutic proteins such as insulin, growth factors or antibodies. Some bacteria live in the gut of cattle, horses and other herbivores uh, and secrete cellulase which is an enzyme which is essential for the digestion of cellulose which is the majority of their diet. Escherichia coli that live in human large intestine synthesize vitamin B and release it for human use. Similarly, Clostridium butyllum is used for commercial preparation of riboflavin and vitamin B. Bacillus thuringiensis, also called Bt, a gram-positive soil-dwelling bacterium, is used for pest control and producing Bt crops. Bioremediation techniques such as oil zapper use bacteria. We'll learn more about it later. Many antibiotics are used for bacteria like bacitrecin, polymyxin B, streptomycin, erythromycin, neomycin B, chloramophenicol, etc. What helps the earth smell so pleasant after the first shower? So pleasant smell of earth after the first shower is caused by the production of a series of streptomycin metabolites called geosmins. These substances are sesquiterpenoid compounds and unsaturated compound of carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. The geosmins first discovered had the chemical name trans 10 dimethyl trans 9 decalol However, other volatile products produced by certain species of streptomyces may also be responsible for this particular smell. Oil zapper. Oil zapper technology first, uh, first developed by ONGC Terry Biotech Limited or OTBL, a joint venture between ONGC, which is Oil and Natural Gas Corporation and Terry, which is Tata Energy and Research Institute. This technology was first used by OTBL in Mehsana in Gujarat. 
to eliminate an oil spill and manage the sludge created from the first oil well in the region. The water became clean and subsequently a home to a variety of birds. Biochar technology is based on anaerobic biodegradation of organic waste by unique microbial consortium and works at wide temperature range. The bacterial consortium degrades night soil at temperature as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius and produces colorless, odorless and inflammable gas containing 50 to 70 percent methane. The bacterial consortium has been made through acclimatization, enrichment and bio-augmentation of cold active bacteria collected from Antarctica and other low temperature areas. Bacterial diseases Diarrhea Diarrhea can be caused by all sorts of parasites including viruses, bacteria and protozoa. Uh, in adults, no norovirus is the major cause, where, whereas in children below 5 years, it's rotavirus. A rotavirus vaccine, Rotavac, has been recently launched in India. Most common bacteria which causes diarrhea is Campylobacter, others are Salmonella, Shigellae and some strains of Escherichia coli. Dysentery Dysentery is usually caused by a bacterial or protozoan infection or infestation of parasitic worms. It can also be caused by chemical irritant or a viral infection. The most common cause, however, in developed countries is infection with the bacillus of the Shigellae group, causing bacillary dysentery. Infection with the amoeba, entomoeba, histolytica can cause amorphic dysentery. Typhoid and whooping cough. Typhoid is transmitted by the ingestion of food or water contaminated with feces of an infected person which contains bacterium Salmonella enterica. The bacteria perforates through the intestinal walls and phagocytosote by macrophages. It is a G-negative short bacillus that is motile due to its peritricus flagella. Popping cough. Pertussis or whooping cough is highly contagious bacterial disease caused by Bordetella pertussis. Diphtheria. This is caused by Corynebacterium diphtheriae, an anaerobic gram-positive bacterium. It is an acute respiratory disease caused by bacteria which leads to a thick coating in the nose, throat and airways. It takes its name from the Greek word diphthera referring to leathery membrane or coating that grows on the tonsils, throats and in the nose. It is a purely vaccine preventable disease and effective vaccine is already available. Leprosy and Cholera Leprosy or Hansen's disease is caused by bacteria Mycobacterium leprae and Mycobacterium lepromatosis. Leprosy is a high degree of stigma because of the fact that there was no cure till the late 80s and also the disfigurement it causes as you can see on the picture. Some drugs such as rifamycin, clofazimin and dapsone are usually used to treat leprosy. Cholera. Cholera is an infection of the small intestine that is caused by the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. The main symptoms are profuse watery diarrhea and vomiting. Tuberculosis, which is caused by various strains of mycobacterium and usually the mycobacterium tuberculosis. Attacks the lungs, but it can also affect other parts of your body. It is spread through air when infected people cough, sneeze or spit. The disease is asymptomatic, latent infection and about 10% latent infections eventually progress to active disease. If untreated, it can kill 50% of its victims. MDR-TB or multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. This is the case where TB is resistant to at least isoniazid and rifampicin, the two most powerful first-line anti-TB drugs. It usually develops when the course of antibiotics is interrupted and there is not enough drug in the body to kill all the bacteria present which means if the patient discontinues or forgets to take medicine, there's a chance of this developing. This is treated with second line of anti-tuberculosis drugs, uh, which is a combination of several medicines uh, and it's called Shrez. Uh, Shrez because it has streptomycin, isonicotinol, hydrazine, rifampicin, ethambutal, pyrazinamide, 
and MXF and cycloserine. XDRTB. When the rate of multi drug resistance in a particular area becomes very high, the control of tuberculosis becomes very difficult. This gives rise to a more serious problem of extensively drug resistant tuberculosis. Now, this is caused by strains of the disease resistant to both first and second line antibiotics. This confirms that a TB control needs to be strengthened. Impact of TB. One third of the world's population is thought to be infected with um, M tuberculosis and every second a new infection occurs. About 80% of the population in many Asian and African countries test positive in tuberculin tests. The highest number of deaths from TB is in Africa region. TB's association with HIV. Now, HIV and TB form a lethal combination. Each spread each other's progress. TB is a leading cause of death among people who are infected with HIV. In Africa, HIV is the single most important factor contributing to the increase in the incidence of TB since 1990. Tuberculosis was declared a global emergency by World Health Organization in 1993. TB medication, BCG. BCG or Bacillus calmed-curin was the first vaccine for TB that was discovered in 1905 by Albert Calmet and Camille Curin. Once WHO declared TB a global emergency, BCG vaccine along with DOTS was used in more than 192 countries as preventive therapy. However, there was a controversial side and it showed variable efficacy that depended upon geography. It was concluded that BCG efficiency goes down as one gets closer to the equator. Several explanations were given for this phenomenon. One such theory said that areas where there are high level of background exposure to tuberculosis, every susceptible individual is already exposed to TB prior to BCG, which is why the natural immunizing effect of the uh, background tuberculosis duplicates any benefit of BCG. So uh, what BCG did is immunize people but if you have already been exposed to TB your body already has the antibodies so BCG is no longer efficient. Another theory says that variable efficacy is because of genetic variation in BCG strains. TB medication DOTS. DOTS is an acronym for directly observed treatment. It's a short course treatment. The DOT strategy represents that the most important public health breakthrough of the de decade in terms of lives which will be saved. It is based largely on research done in India in the field of TB over the past 35 years. That's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel GK Today on YouTube. Until the next video, goodbye.